Jennifer Sness here watching News 24 Live while I'm joined in studio by comedian Angel Campy. She got naked for the latest issue of the Mary Claire Naked Edition. Yay! What was it like getting naked, girl? Well, I mean, don't you get naked every day? Yeah, I do. You just unbutton and drop clothes <laughs> and, it's and really sing a little song as you do it. It's really nice for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was such an honor to be asked, honestly. Like, no, I mean, I watch it every year, and it's the, one of their best-selling issues, I yeah. believe. And so every year, you sort of, and, and always they always feature a few comics, and I'm always like, okay, fair enough. And then they had Anne Hirsch the one year, and Timmy Murake, I'm like, fair enough, bigger comics. And then they asked me, and I was like, wow, they don't know anyone famous enough except me now. <laughs> there she is. Angel is naked. Hiding my, my carnal mm. joy there. And you're there with Skulk and Shimmy. Yes. I love them. I love them too. They are wonderful humans. Skulk looks really comfortable being yes. naked. Yes, and okay. there's, a, there's, a, there's a base of a willy in that photo, and there was another full frontal option, which then he called me in and was like, which one do you think is better? And I was like, why am I looking? <laughs> I don't want to see this much of you. No, I really didn't. <laughs> But um, yeah, and when I said to him, like, I'm aware that we're going to be naked on set together, he was like, Angel, I have a very specific type of girl I'm into, under 30. <laughs> I was like, ouch. Burn. Thanks, ouch, Skull. Skull. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me about preparing for a naked photo shoot. Uh -huh. When you accepted, yes. what was going through your mind? Well, first, like, yay, I'm relevant. And then, like, oh my gosh, I have to be naked. Like, at first, you're just like, yes, I'm so excited. And then, and then you suddenly realize that the whole, that you, uh, like this. <laughs> and, and then I called up my, like not even name dropping, but like great friend, Quentin Chong, who mm. runs Dragon Power, and he's like world champion Muay Thai, like four times or something ridiculous. So he then, him and his brother Winston, they trained me, personal trained, Muay Thai fighter style, every day for at least an hour. Every and day? Every day. I was in so much agony. Did you, how much weight did you lose? You must have lost I weight. wasn't weighing myself, but okay. honestly in two weeks the difference was phenomenal. And it makes you realize like when you think you've let it go and you can't really get there. After two yeah. weeks I was like, wow, that, that wasn't, and nothing will keep you motivated. Like if, when you're tired, you're like, I don't feel like going, oh, they're going to photograph you naked. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would, I would just think like they're going to Photoshop me, but they didn't Photoshop no, for this. They had implied that they would Photoshop, but mm. I'm pretty sure no one's Photoshopped. Um, as you can see, I cut myself shaving that morning and it's there. There it is, <laughs> for the world to see. But I didn't even notice, so you shouldn't tell anyone Yeah, that. but there you go. <laughs> it's what you see your flaws so quickly when you look at yourself. But, but then the irony is I'm holding my knees in the photo and I could have had a beer book behind those knees. No one would even know. Yeah, it's so true. So I worked out for nothing. But no, Not for nothing, you look great. Well, yes, and also that's the completely narcissistic, self-reflective version mm -hmm. of getting naked because obviously it was for a much bigger cause because exactly. it's, it's not for any like self-aggrandizing reason it's for charity and it's for blow the whistle this year mm -hmm. and 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 it was really well handled on set because everyone was acutely aware that this is about abuse of women and children and that's and it was there was a sense of gravity i mean you can see like we're comics but we we all kind of we weren't being quirky or goofy yeah. obviously we were laughing and giggling and there were pockets because we're all naked and we're comics yeah. we can't help it but the second the shooting started we were aware of the vulnerability that, that we were reflecting to mm -hmm. be vulnerable, to show sort of a solidarity with the women and children who are so yeah. vulnerable in this country who have no voice. So, and the, and the, the staff of Marie Claire were very aware of that and mm -hmm. sort of drove that message home. And that's why, if you look, we're not wearing mascara or anything. They, and the one other girl, uh, the, the, the jewelry artist, um, jewelry designer. Petula, okay. Yes, I think her name. She was just leaving and, and her signature is to wear red oh, lipstick and they hadn't let her wear red, li red lipstick because they were saying that's a mask. There yes, because she, she had to be nude and and like vulnerable. Right. The right. whole point was that we were all, and it, and it really, like, so it's fun to like talk about it, but I feel like that also does take away from the whole message that the, that they actually mm. were going for. Tell me about the Blow the Whistle campaign. Well, I mean, I'm quite new with the campaign. Yeah. I'm, I've just signed on as right. an ambassador now. But basically, it's a campaign that sort of blowing the whistle because so many people feel like they haven't got a right to, to speak out. Because there's nothing worse. Mm -hmm. I mean, your home environment, that's where you're supposed to be safe. And if your home environment has become hostile and you know, violent and as, as a child or a woman, like how can you speak out? Who can you talk to if not your husband or your father or your uncle? Yeah. The, the men who are supposed to protect you are now... You know, so Blow the Whistle is, is a platform to make these women and children know that they can reach out. And they've even just launched an app, 
which is really great, which you put on your phone and then you choose three contacts. And if you feel vulnerable or like threatened, you yeah. hold the button for three seconds and it notifies your location to those three contacts so that they can then maybe find you if something bad happens mm. or help you. So yeah, the Blow the Whistle campaign is, is basically just giving a voice to try and, because it's everyone's problem, so men and women are part of the Blow the Whistle yeah. campaign. They've got people like Ray Nettling as ambassadors to just say like this, you know, mm. giving people a voice. Well, everyone seems to have had fun getting naked for a really great <laughs> cause. <laughs> it was. Um, which, which one of these photos is your favorite to look at? I mean, this one was all the rage when the, when the magazine came out. This yeah, is taxi, taxi violence. violence. Hey, full frontal there. Full frontal manscaping. Yeah, good for them. Yeah. Hey? <laughs>